Hello, my name is Cameron and welcome to this video about LDTK to Unity. In this video, I'm going to be covering a few topics like what is LDTK, what is LDTK to Unity even for, and then I'll be talking about how to install and use the package. So LDTK is a tile-based level design solution where you can build tiles and then they can connect their art and then you can build entities and you can like assign like fields right here. It exports to JSON so it's really easy to use. You can like do all sorts of like neat little things like uh, build worlds as you can see here. It's just overall a really nifty tool. Enter LDTK to Unity. LDTK to Unity allows you to import your LDTK projects into Unity. It's similar in the same vein as to how Super Tile to Unity imports tile projects. There is an option to export to TMX in LDTK, but it does have a little bit of unavailable features, so I decided to make this importer to circumvent it. But first, I'm going to show you how to install the package. There's actually multiple ways to install the package. I made two main options that you can use to install. The first one that you can try is to install this Unity package. Once you click it, it's going to try and download a Unity package for you. Once you have this Unity package, then you can drag and drop it into Unity. So this is a blank Unity project, and I'm going to add the Unity package. To install the Unity package, you can drag and drop the Unity package into your project window, and then this will appear. Say yes to everything, and then hit import. Once it's done downloading, then this project settings window will appear, and you'll also get this window saying, like, importing a scoped registry. You don't really need to worry about that but you can head over to your package manager window by going to window, package manager, and then a new window will appear for you. And once it's in the package manager, then you're all good to go. This is by far the quickest and easiest way to install the package. However, I've seen this break on me before sometimes in pre-existing projects if I try to install it. So if this doesn't work out for you, then you can try out the alternate method. So here we are at the documentation page for the alternate option. There are a few more steps involved, however, it's much more safe to install using this option, and I prefer it personally myself, but uh, it is more involved than this other one. So the first step is to install the OpenUPM CLI. This is a requirement in order to download packages from OpenUPM, which is a hosting website for many different free open source Unity packages. So you just click here, and then it'll take you to the OpenUPM page where it talks about how to install it. Now inside of here, there's like an extra step inside of here. It basically says that you have to also get Node.js. So you click on this link here and then it takes you to the main Node.js website where you can then try and download it. You can go for either option, but I'll pick LTS for this instance. Once it's downloaded, then you can try and install it. So for the Node.js setup, you can just click, keep on clicking next and agree to the terms and just uh, continue clicking next. You don't really need to worry about much. And then once Node.js is set up, then you can click finish and then we can go back to the next step. So now that we have Node.js installed, we can now install the OpenUPM CLI. Scroll a little bit down and then you'll be able to find the command that you have to paste into the command line to install the OpenUPM CLI. What you want to try and copy is this specific text right here. You can either use the keyboard to copy or you could copy in your browser like this. Next, you want to open the command line. So you can do that by clicking the Windows button, typing in CMD, and then you can find it right here. Once you're here, you can paste your text. It might be a little bit different in command prompt. There are different shortcuts. I've configured it to paste with a right click. Once you've pasted it in, then you can press enter and it'll start installing OpenUPM CLI. All right, so now that OpenUPM CLI is installed, we can close the command prompt. So now that OpenUPM CLI is installed, we can now install the package into Unity through one more step. So our next and final step is to install the Unity package. We're going to be doing this by running a command while the command prompt is scoped in on the root of the Unity project. To do this, you're going to copy the text and then go into Unity. So to navigate to the root of the Unity project very easily, you can actually just go straight into Unity, right-click Assets, Show in Explorer, and then here you are. So once you're at the root of the Unity project in Windows Explorer, you can click the top bar here, delete all the text, type in CMD, and then it'll open up the command prompt in this path, which is very convenient. 
So then you're gonna paste your text that we just copied on the documentation website. Then you press enter and then it will add the package. So once this is added, then you click back into Unity and then it's gonna import it. You can check out the package manager window and indeed it is installed. So now that the package is installed, I can showcase a little bit of what there is to offer. If you go into the samples tab right here and drop down, you can then import the samples into your project. Once it's all done loading, it'll be available in the samples folder and you can explore it 